Hi, welcome to Avocet Math. In this video, we're going to look at one of our problems from our set of AMC 12 counting problems. So let's see what we have. Mr. and Mrs. Zeta want to name their baby Zeta so that its monogram, first, middle, and last initials, will be in alphabetical order with no letters repeating. How many such monograms are possible? Now essentially, we're trying to form a monogram of three letters, first, middle, and last initial, which in this case is always Z, such that the three letters are always in alphabetical order. Now there are two ways to do this problem. One is sort of a brute force counting method, and another is a little bit more clever, so let's do them both. In the brute force method, we're going to basically try to tabulate the various choices depending on our choice of the first letter. And we, what we notice is that depending on how we choose the first letter, the number of available choices for the second letter uh, varies. And so we're going to basically break this up into a number of different cases depending on the choice of the first letter. So let's go down our list of choices for the first letter. In the first case, we're going to choose the first letter to be A, in which case the second letter can be any choice between B and Y for a total of 24 choices or 24 possibilities. If we choose the first letter to be B, then that constrains the middle initial a little bit more, and we only have 23 choices for the middle initial in order to form uh, three letters in alphabetical order. And likewise, if we choose C, the middle initial can be chosen in 22 ways, and we can follow this logic all the way to the choice of the first letter to be X, in which case the middle initial always has to be Y, leaving us with only one choice. So we've broken it up into these 24 subcases, and now the total ways that we can arrange these three letters to form the full monogram is just the sum of these tabulated cases. So to sum these cases, we're summing an arithmetic series from 1 to 24, and that is given by the formula that we should know of n times n plus 1 divided by 2, where n is 24, times n plus 1 of 25 divided by 2 is 12 times 25, 300. And that is choice B. Now a second more clever way to approach this problem is to realize that we're trying to form two distinct letters to form the first and the middle initial, and those two distinct letters have to be chosen from the set A through Y, a set containing 25 elements. Now for any choice of two distinct elements from A through Y, what we realize is that any such distinct choice can always be rearranged to form those two letters in alphabetical order. And once those two letters are formed in alphabetical order, they will always form this three-letter combination, which is also in alphabetical order, because this last letter is Z. So the question really comes down to, how many ways can we choose two elements, or two letters, two distinct letters, from a set of 25 possible letters? And that is essentially a simple combinatorics problem. The number of ways that we can choose two distinct letters from a total set of 25 possible letters is simply C, 25, choose 2, which from our combinatorics formula is given by 25 times 24 divided by 2 factorial, 1 times 2, which is equal to 25 times 12, which again is equal to 300, which agrees with our choice B. Anyway, this is a very important technique that you need to realize that when, whenever we're dealing with numbers or letters that have to be in some prearranged order, we realize that we only have to basically choose some combination of these elements, and any such combination can always be rearranged to form a unique uh, order in uh, either alphabetical order or numerical order. Anyway, that's an important concept, and uh, hope that was clear. Take care. Bye-bye.